What I love about Bitcoin the most is the fact that I'm able to have full control of my asset, full control, full custody of my Bitcoin. As long as you have it on a hardware wallet, such as a Trezor or a Nano Ledger or Elipal, there's loads of them. But I, I have a, a Nano Ledger and I also have a Trezor. These two, um, there's many others. Um, you can have full custody of your assets. I know some people, they don't trust themselves with their assets. So um can understand that. But if you're somebody that wants to have control of your full control of your own wealth, full control of your digital assets, this is an amazing um, asset. OK, having a hardware wallet and having your Bitcoin or Ethereum or wh whichever cryptocurrency on that hardware wallet, controlling it with your own keys. You own your own keys. When you have your own keys, um, you control that digital asset. As long as you keep the keys safe. As long as you keep the keys safe, you have sole access to those uh, assets. And the power in this is that if you're holding Bitcoin or Ethereum uh, um, and there's others as well, these assets are going up in price and they've been consistently going up in price over the years. So if past results mean anything, um, these are not going to stop going up in price, especially Bitcoin and Ethereum. OK, and the reason why I say Bitcoin and Ethereum is because those two are, I would say, the the gold and the silver of the cryptocurrency realm. OK, so owning Bitcoin, owning Ethereum to me is a no brainer. I've hold it, held them for a number of years now and they've, they've performed absolutely excellently over the last few years. OK. If you're somebody new to the space and you don't know about cryptocurrencies, go get my crypto for beginners training at wealthbuilderelite.com. If you're somebody that understands the whole thing already, you know about it and you want a, a, a business that can pay you in Bitcoin, I've got a business for you too. Wealthconglomerate.com. Um, you'll be able to see the business that I earn Bitcoin with and I use everything I earn to build my portfolios um, because I believe in stacking my satoshis okay so if you're not building your crypto portfolios um either with your day job or with your online business or whichever way or just with money that you borrowed or whatever i'm not saying i'm not telling you to borrow money but you may have borrowed money i don't know um if you're not building your um, crypto portfolios you're missing out you are missing out okay and that's why i say Get yourself a Bitcoin business, a business that can pay you so that you can then go and buy more crypto and stack it. Now, Bitcoin has been performing at 200 percent a year. That is insane. What other asset has performed as amazing as Bitcoin? That's what I want to know. If anybody can tell me, <laughs> I know there's loads of different cryptocurrencies out there that are that are um, offering that word basically those um loads of coins that come out and because of the hype they skyrocket those low cap gems yeah they exist but i'm talking about a legit cryptocurrency that has time on its hands literally has been around since 2009 10 is the number one uh um, performing digital asset that is being adopted by many institutions getting involved many many people are now starting to understand the power of crypto Many people starting to understand the power of Bitcoin. Many people starting to understand the power of Ethereum. Okay. Now the banks are scared. People are afraid. Yeah. That the, the cryptocurrency uh, arena is about to eclipse the banking world and they are absolutely terrified. <laughs> and I love it. I love it. So how can you get yourself involved in this? Get yourself a hardware wallet, buy yourself some Bitcoin and store it away and forget about it. That's what you do. That's what you do. If you're, if you're somebody more adventurous, you may want to buy a crypto, buy Bitcoin and you may want to um, get some other crypto coins and store them in your hardware wallets. Um, no matter what price these crypto assets are right now, I do believe in the future they're going to skyrocket, especially the top 10, top 20 on the coin market cap. OK, so things like um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Chainlink, Solana, 
V-Chain, many of them that are there, uh, Cosmos, Polygon, you name it. There's many of them that I do believe in and I love. And I do believe that they're going to skyrocket in price and they're going to follow as Bitcoin goes up and Ethereum goes up in price. So they're going to follow. So right now we're still on the ground floor and things are still going to go higher and higher. And that's why I'm happy to be in this space um, right now. OK, if you're somebody looking for a way to make money online in Bitcoin, check out the links in the description of this video, um, because I believe in earning Bitcoin, stacking Bitcoin uh, and, and, and making yield off of my crypto, too. OK, I've also got a seven figure um, Rolodex with all the stuff that I use to earn and learn in the world of cryptocurrencies and make money online. So you cannot lose. Unless you are lazy, okay? If you're somebody that's willing to build wealth or you may have already built your wealth already and you're looking for other ways to um, to build more wealth, check out my seven-figure roller decks. Um, if you're somebody that's brand new to the space, maybe you've made your wealth elsewhere and you just want to learn how to uh, get started in the world of crypto for beginners, I've got the training for you as well. I'm going to leave that also in the description of this video or audio. So you cannot go wrong. We're still at the beginning. No matter what price Bitcoin is right now, I do believe it's going to go much higher than it is right now. And people are still getting it at great prices right now. So, yes, it may go up, down, up, down, up, down until it reaches crazy numbers. But this ride we're on is a long term one. So if you do get on it right now, make sure that you're you're aware that you're getting on a long term, long journey with regards to this okay so that you keep your coins and you just leave it forget about it for a few years come back and look and see what you've got there okay looking for low cap gems there's a there's a lot of low cap gems and i'm not talking about those coins that are just you know created by non anonymous owners and none of them i'm talking about the low cap gems that are really good business uh, uh um ideas that have really good fundamentals and those fundamentals are going to be the things that keep those projects going okay so just remember that anytime you look at these crypto coins or somebody reminds you of these crypto coins or tells you about anything new that you know is brand new not all of them have good fundamentals some of them are just pump and dumps People get in very early, they buy, they get coins at very cheap price and then it pumps, they sell their coins and then you get left with the hole in the bag. So just be careful, be careful. I'm fully all about fundamentals and that's what I go with number one before anything else. If the project, I don't feel that project, I'm not going to go for it. If I don't feel the project has fund good fundamentals, I'm not going to go for it. Everybody has the projects that they enjoy and projects they don't like you may not even like the team you might not be into that project or what that niche is entirely up to you i have my own loves uh with regards to projects and i do love um, um projects that have real strong protocols real strong business plans i want to see that they've got a good roadmap and i want to see that they've got something that is truly able to change um the world with that technology if they're able to change the world or it fits into the niches that are available right now then we can win and that project i do believe may do very well and um i don't think it's bad to have those bags anyways people thanks for listening i hope this audio has brought some sort of value to you um check out the links in the description if you're interested in anything i've spoken about and um yeah i do enjoy doing these audios uh, as I'm able to talk and let it all out. Anyways, people, thank you very much. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.